So I was watching the interview yesterday uh, with Kamala Harris and Brett Bear on Fox News, and it struck me that it kind of always come to the head with the difference between a man and a woman. And this is a little different take than I'm hearing a lot of people talk about. Um, but I think this kind of goes back to truth and how men try to persuade, women have tried to persuade. You notice how every time she was asked a question or whatever, presented with facts and figures and things like that, she would attack Donald Trump's character. Okay. And I've noticed that's how women do. They don't necessarily care about the truth. They care about how things that make them feel. And so Kamala was trying to appeal to the women on how Donald Trump makes them feel rather than the facts and figures. And she talked about the bill and all these other things, but would not address the 7 million or so illegal aliens that have come into uh, the country um, under her watch and how and page forward and running for election. So I wanted to go into that and the difference between men and women. And I think today it's even more controversial supposedly that uh, men and women are different men and women are different and like a man can be a woman a woman can be a man that's the stupidest thing i've ever heard and, and that goes back to what i think is women don't care anything about the truth all they care about is how it makes them feel and things that i use as examples of that which i've noticed as i get older with women okay so there's no way i don't care if you love your wife or anything you could tell your woman that she's fat all right okay there's no way to do that without making her mad why it doesn't matter it's the truth it matters how she make uh, how you make her feel okay so uh other examples of that is uh, women lie all the time like age right i'm gonna tell you the truth guy says hey it's uh i'm you know 50 years old all right women lie about their age all the time women lie about their weight they wouldn't even tell you their weight right not it's true it's not like we can't see that they're fat right we can clearly see that and we know what weight is but they'll lie because it, it makes them feel bad and i even go back to like to tell a dude's fat guys know all the time i could tell you're fat and the guy's like yeah i know i need to lose some weight or they're like uh and stuff like that and we'll joke about it that's why guys have nicknames like tiny that are clearly large and fat age uh weight uh, just like also, and girls lie to each other all the time. Again, because they don't care about the truth, they care about how it makes them feel. And that's how you start seeing fat models and fat girls in bikinis. What do their friends say? What do the other girls say? Oh, you look good, girl. You have confidence. You have that, that. Stupid, blatantly not true, but girls say that because they know how the other girls feels and it's an emotion thing. And last night, Kamala, she was trying to appeal to the emotion side of it rather than the truth with the economy, crime, uh, all the illegals that have come over, that the fact that she repealed, uh, I think 17 or 19 of the executive orders that stopped that, the fact that if she, uh, it was supposed to be better under Donald, uh, under her watch, where she did just put up the wall, as if she thinks that bill that she was talking about would be more effective than a border wall, right? Doesn't care about the truth, care how, about how it makes it feel. And that's the thing also the difference between Democrats and Republicans. Republicans are logic, truth, reason, a lot of it, and I'm generalizing here, uh, the Democrats are uh, the party of emotion, all right? But one thing I think we can agree on another truth that women aren't gonna like is you shouldn't live your life or a society based on emotion, right? Change the emotion, and that's one thing that's really good to know as a guy about women, change their emotion, change their mood. That's why your girl can say you're gonna go to the movie, guy says, okay, Thursday night we're going to the movie. Girl's happy about it, says you wanna go to the movie. Well, then, Thursday night comes and the girl doesn't want to the movie. And you're like, I thought we were going to the movie. Well, she's in a bad mood. So you can go change her mood and she'll be excited about the movie. Same thing, guys are like conquerors, uh, climax, and then peace. Women don't like peace, all right? Women like the negative emotion, emotion. That's why uh, the biggest loser, uh, the Kardashians are so big uh, because all that drama going on, um, they, uh, they, leave, they need it, they love it. And guys like peace, that's why your girl, when you're sitting there and everything's fine, will start a fight. So I think that was the thing last night. And also, like I said, Democrats. Democrats are, try to appeal to people's emotion, regardless if it actually helps them or not. How does it make people feel? Donald Trump doesn't necessarily make people feel good the way that he does because he's a guy and he is just more about sell, telling the truth. Women will also actually deny the truth, even at their own detriment right? Women know what they want. They just want to tell you how they feel. And guys, you can have a, a, an argument with a girl. And that's why whenever you start telling the facts and figures of what happened, she starts attacking your character. 
or saying that you do this, you do that, completely different, but because that's how she feels. She's angry at you, so she's trying to hurt you with words. Will have bring up no facts or, or anything. A lot of times they can't state any particular instances. They just will attack character, which is what Kamala was doing last night. She wasn't bringing up any facts, figures, truths, right? She was attacking Donald Trump's character. That's their, and if you listen to Jordan Peterson, women don't have the ability for physical violence or whatever, man. So what they do is they gossip, they slander, and they make up, uh, attack your character. And, and I use the example of this as what's going on right now with uh, men and women's sports. My whole life, all right, I heard that women can do anything a man can do, right? You've, you've probably heard that. It, it, it's a blatant, obvious lie, right? It's clearly not the case. Uh, but women will stick to that because they don't like the way it makes them feel, right? And that's why now when men are in women's sports, what are they throwing a fit about? They're like, oh, no, no, that's not fair. Well, y'all been saying forever, my whole life, that women can do anything a man can do. Well, what happened there, right? Because the truth is that's not the case. But women don't want to hear that because they don't like how it makes them feel. And that's exactly why this video or whatever, guys will get it and go, okay, girls, it'll make them mad because they don't care about the truth. They only care about how it makes them feel. Women, a lot of times now, they're like independent women don't need a man, right? And they have all these single moms that are, moms that are suffering and they said they didn't need a man. That, uh, and so they're starting to find out that that's not true. But there's, again, they don't like to say that because it, it doesn't make them feel good. So the shortest thing or the biggest takeaway here is you should not vote for Kamala, okay? But part of it, the, the, the biggest reason is because she's a woman, right? We do not need women in leadership. No man should be under the authority of a woman. I know that's gonna be controversial, right? Instinctively, I think everybody knows it, all right? We do not need regulated and ruled or societies run on emotion. Emotions are very subjective. You need truth, logic, and reasoning. Don't get me wrong, emotion is great. Emotion gives you soft blanket. That's why girls were, you know, the candles and the house looks good. If you, if it was all guys, it would be cold, sterile, uh, like concrete and steel, all right? Women bring the softness in there. Women, again, it, it's been known for thousands of years are, are better in the home. And I even, I use the example of this uh, with, with your woman. Ask her, all right, if, if she thinks women should be over men. Okay, the other thing you can do then is, okay, if my boss was a woman, would you have much respect for me, right? They, they'll even admit that they won't. They're like, well, not you, but women should be on that. But no, it's not. And I've seen this over and over in the military. I was in the military for 15 years. And in the military, so uh, as in recon, and we used to do this trail of tears where you have like an 80 pound pack and you hump up and down over sand dunes, right? And there used to be this gunny, I don't remember his name, but he would, he would smoke a cigar during it and he would not change the expression, he hardly sweat. And what you could see, they would let you pick up their packs to see how heavy the packs are, that they're just as heavy as yours. It was kicking my ass, right? And he'd get up, he'd be like, get up the hill, jackass. And so everybody, he got a lot of respect because he could produce. He was the one you would wanna follow into battle. You, the, 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 what a leader is, leads by example, all right? And then later, as I was getting out, you would have this fat, mushy woman, right? Who's like 45, doughy, you could see the rolls in her uniform in in command in charge of something. And everybody in that whole command could freaking whoop her ass. She was not a warrior. It's so stupid. But then they subject you to that, right? To act like you're the weird one, that that's the truth. They try to just like deny the truth when the truth is so obvious. Again, it's because they don't like how it makes them feel. but throughout history, the, the the generals, the leaders, or the ones that was the badass. They could do anything more, uh, more of those. And the reason re men respect that is because they do things um, that may, we don't think that we could do ourselves. But women in charge, that, that's not the case. It's, it's just a false premise, again, because women don't like how it makes them feel, but guys can see that truth, right? So anyway, again, the takeaway is don't vote for Kamala per uh, Harris. The only reason you really need is because she's a woman and we don't need a woman running the country. That's ridiculous. That's truth.